Keeping a mailing list is a great way for you to keep in touch with your website visitors. It can also be a really good avenue for you to promote your products or services to people who might be genuinely interested in what you have to offer. This tutorial is going to show you how to embed a mailing list signup form on your iWeb website. In case you are not familiar, the application I am showing you is called MailChute. MailChute is a mailing list manager that will allow you to easily embed your signup form on your website. You can then manage all of the email addresses on the list and send them emails whenever you desire. You can learn more about MailChute and how to use it at RageSW.com. I want to make a quick note that when using this application, don't forget to save your work. As I demonstrate embedding the form, you will see how I save my work in a couple of locations. For this demonstration, we're going to stick with the golf theme and assume I am running a golf website. The first thing I'm going to do is save my project. I do this by clicking File and going to Save As. I will then name my project and save it. The next thing I will do is click on the List Manager button. Currently, I have no list because this is a brand new document. I will click on the plus sign to add a new list. If I double click on my list, the editor window will appear. This is where all members of my mailing list will appear after they have been added. So now we're going to begin making our mailing list signup form. The first thing we're going to do is change some of the field names. These are going to be the fields for the information that we want to get from people who are signing up to our mailing list. So here I will input just a few examples of the information I might want to collect from potential customers. When I'm finished inputting the fields, I will press done and my next step will be to set up the subscribe page. In this first step, I'll need to give my list a name. I'm going to call it Jeremy's Golf Shop. The list's short name will be what is used in your signup form's URL. Two or three words in this name should work fine so I'll stick with Jeremy's Golf Shop. Next, I'll enter a password for my list, followed by a list description. In the Owner's Details section, I will need to fill out all of these fields. The owner email is especially important as this is the email address that users will see when they sign up to the mailing list, as well as the email address where you will be notified of a sign up. The welcome message can be customized to your liking or you can leave it as is. In the Custom Fields section, you will need to tick off whatever custom fields you want included on your sign up form. I will tick off the ones I customized earlier in the tutorial. You can choose from four different types of fields you want to use. You can also input a default value for each field as well as indicate if you want the field to be a required field or not. In the link section, here is where we will get our code for embedding the form on our iWeb website. I'll simply press the publish button and the embed code will appear. You will also notice that two links appear. The first link will take us to the subscribe page, and the second link will take us to the unsubscribe page. When you create your form, click on these links so you can see firsthand what your subscribe and unsubscribe pages look like. Now I'm going to highlight the embed code and copy it. In iWeb, I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to choose the blank page option and then I'll delete any text boxes that appear by default. Then I will drag the HTML snippet onto my page and paste the embed code that I just copied. I'll readjust the form to fit my needs and my website now has my mailing list signup form on it. 